Okay, just do LS7 alert you over here. You are on mute, Suresh. Just do LS7 alert over here. Okay. Yeah. So let's look at the directory structure. What okay. all do we have in this? Okay. Okay. So the main important directory over there first is the bin directory. Okay. Okay. Just write it down. In this directory, you will find all the binaries like the startup and stop mm -hmm. scripts for your Apache Tomcat. Okay. Okay. Next is the conf directory. Okay. Uh, this directory, this directory. Okay. Has this directory has Okay. Global configuration. Global okay. configuration files. Okay. Okay. Now what does it have? One policy file. Okay. And the file is Catalina.policy. Okay. What is this catalina policy? This file specifies the security policy. Okay. Okay. This file specifies the security policy. Okay. Okay. Now there are two properties file inside this. Okay. One is catalina properties and logging properties. Can you see if you can find it? Okay. Yes. yes. That's under properties and logging. Logging. Okay. Okay. Four configuration XML files. Okay. Four configuration XML files. Okay. The first one server.xml. Okay. The dot XML. Server dot XML. XML. No, 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 no. For, okay. uh, is, what is a server.xml? So it is a main okay. configuration file for Tomcat. Okay. okay main configuration file any changes you have to do whatever you want to do you have to get inside this file okay and do the change so it is the main configuration file for tomcat okay, okay. web.xml next is web.xml okay it is global web application deployment descriptors global web application deployment descriptors so what are deployment descriptors can you repeat it it's, it's global web application deployment, deployment descriptor. descriptor yeah descriptors so what is a deployment descriptor Was this not covered all these things in your web security classes? Deployment Slang descriptors and all. It's covered, but it's Okay. So that's fine, absolutely fine, not an issue. <coughs> Deployment descriptor is nothing but a XML file defining okay. or describing the application. Okay. okay. 
it is an XML file defining or describing about the application. It, it will have all the application specific information like the context path, the session time is, the session details, the servlet details, everything. Okay. okay, so this web.xml is a global web application deployment descriptor. But don't get confused because when you get a deployment or an application from a developer, that Mm -hmm. web application also has a web.xml okay okay now this is the default one global web application deployment description that is application specific deployment exactly. clear next is context.xml okay. okay it's a global tomcat specific configuration options global tomcat specific configurations okay okay and the other one is tomcat hyphen users dot xml okay tomcat hyphen users.xml okay it is a database of user it is a database of user okay. password okay and rule for authentication and access control password and rule for authentication and access control okay okay the next again important directory is lib directory is a lib directory can I just go back? Lib directory. Yeah. Okay. So this basically has the libraries. Okay. It has libraries needed for the application and Tomcat to function okay okay so let's say for example I have a application okay, okay. and uh, I want to connect to just giving you an example okay I want okay. to connect to a Oracle database or let's say Sybase database or MySQL or SQL so for that what you have to do is you have to download that jar file put that jar file over here then only you will be able okay. to connect to that database okay. okay now let's say for example I want to communicate with now let's say I have a, you have an application hosted and your application wants to communicate with my application okay, okay. so in that case what you will do you will place the jar file in this folder that will help that library will help to communicate with my application okay. okay so whatever library is needed for the application should be placed over here okay, okay. Uh, and these are all the default libraries that comes in with the tomcat so okay. Okay. if you remove any of these libraries what will happen it won't work uh, right right your tomcat won't work because these are the default libraries that are needed for a tomcat to run and function okay on top of that whatever is needed by my application again that should be placed over here got it okay so if you when you go to office today just have a look at your this tomcat lib directory you will find many libraries which are related which are very very specific to your application Okay. Okay. Clear? Clear. Okay. 
notes. Can you go back? Sure. Okay. Now the next one is web apps. Or you can take logs. Okay. So what is web apps? What is web apps? This you should know because you must have done deployment, right? Yes. We need to place uh, the file here. So we need to place Wafel over here, so it's a deployment procedure. It's a, it will take automatically. No need to follow uh, all the procedure like uh, we follow with here and with only. Yes. So just we need to place the Wafel or ER file over here. Not so the ER file. Not the EAR file. Yeah. Tomcat. Tomcat. Tomcat does not support yes. ER file. So yes, sir, this yes. is basically the deployment directory. Okay. Directly. Now, when you say that if you place our war file, it will deploy it. That is 110% correct. But what is that called as? What is that process called as? Auto deployment. Perfect. That is called as auto deployment. So, Tomcat supports auto deployment. 